बायोलॉजी लाइफ साइंस बायो केमिस्ट्री ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एनाटॉमी फिजियोलॉजी फार्माकोलॉजी हु इज प्रीवियस हु इज मेन बायोलॉजी बायो केमिस्ट्री ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री फिजियोलॉजी सो मच कन्फ्यूजिंग व्हिच इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट व्हिच वन हैव टू बी स्टडी फॉर द एग्जाम हाउ टू मेमोराइज ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स Hold on hold on friends and not to be worry i will help you don't be puzzled don't be fear i am coming with your confusion solutions so uh, to clear your confusions all oh hello guys you came here don't be confused i am coming with all the subject topic in medical pharmacy and life science one by one in made easy form for you so guys shuli dash is welcoming you at the pharmacy crash course division in the knowledge club online today i choose one of the most important subject that is the biochemistry subject this subject is present in all of the medical pharmacy and life science oriented course syllabus biochemistry actually is the language of biology the tools for research in all the branches of medical science are mainly biochemical in nature the function of the study of biochemistry is essential to understand basic function of the cells or the body right this study will give information regarding the functioning of the cells at the molecular level how the foods that we eat it's digested absorbed and used to make ingredients of the body how does the body derive energy for the normal day to day life how are the various metabolic processes are, are interrelated what is the function of the genes what you say tough hard to memorize no no No, not not like that. Don't be fear. I shall give you the systematic study of the biochemistry knowledge of the biochemistry subject in medicine form. More than ninety nine percent of the human body is composed of six main elements that are the oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen, calcium, and phosphorus. Human body is composed of mainly sixty percent water. 15% protein 15% lipid 2% carbohydrate and 8% minerals basically molecular structure of our organelles are are built from 30 small precursors these 30 small precursors are also called the 30 main alphabets of the biochemistry who are those 30 alphabets of this biochemistry that are 20 amino acids 2 purines 3 pyrimidines two sugars means glucose and ribose palmitate glycerol and choline using these 30 alphabets of precursors our body makes large biomolecules and macromolecules for our cells like amino acids are the precursors for the proteins so today i shall discuss about the first 20 precursors or alphabets means the 20 amino acids near about 300 amino acids are present in the nature but only 20 amino acids are present or found in the human body our first problem is to memorize the names of these 20 amino acids right today i will give you the trick to rememorize the 20 names of the amino acids after knowing these tricks hardly you require 2 to 3 minutes uh, to memorize the all 20 names of the amino acids so then going to give you the trick stay tuned up to the end
we know we have 26 alphabets in English language, right? First, we write those alphabet in serial one by one. From this, we easily recognize we require only 20 alphabets for 20 amino acids, not required 26 alphabets, right? So, what those six alphabets we not required? Those are B, J, O, U, X, Z. These are six, okay? So, eliminating these six from list or making cross sign. After that, we have to remember amino acids with unique first letter. There has the six amino acids. They are at the C, at the H, at the I, M, V, S. Means C for cysteine, H for histidine, I for isoleucine, M for methionine, V for valine, S for serine. Then amino acids also have quota system like as job recruitment system. How? In some first letter have more than one amino acid but reserved for representation of these five amino acids. Who are these? A for alanine, G for glycine, L for leucine, P for proline, T for threonine. Okay? Some amino acids sound like phonetic. If we write the spelling as per hearing sound, that is the phonetically suggestive. Means the arginine. It sound like A sound like R. Phenylalanine. Phi is sound like F. Tyrosine. It's sound like Y. One amino acid name derived from its chemical structure shape. That is tryptophan because chemical structure like a letter W. Now left only five amino acids which are pronounced like a wrong. Aspartate. It's pronounced like a aspartic or aspartate. Asparagine. It's called like aspargine. Means N. Glutamate or glutamic acid. It's called the glutamate. Glutamate. E. Glutamine. Quatamine, Q, Lysine, K is near L in the alphabet. So, Lysine is stands for K. So, these are the total alphabetically derived 20 amino acids names. I think now it's uh, very easy to remember all these 20 amino acids names. Revise it. I am damn sure you required less than three minutes to remember all these names. Write me how much time you take to remember all these names after knowing these tips. Another most important or problematic phase to remember the classification and chemical structure of the amino acids, right? But not problematic now. I will solve that problem also but not for today. I will give that tricks at the next video. Friends, hope you enjoyed today's trick session. How much you enjoyed, write me at the comment box. And also, if you want more tricks like this, you also please inform me at the comment box. Before ending today's episode, if you like this video, please like, share and comment freely. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and after subscribing the channel, 
please click on the bell button for getting the updates regularly one announcement here if you or your family members have interest in the history then you can follow our another division of the knowledge club online the division name is itihash kotha you can know the true stories of the indian history where the narrator name is mr shomitra banerji i am coming with the next video very shortly till then goodbye